very uh, emotional and uh, disappointed with that loss, as you can imagine. Um, some things played out about how we thought they would. We knew, and we talked about it all week, that they would start fast here at home. Um, a team that could get you off balance and strike very quickly. They did that early. I was proud of our team because we did talk about it and prepare for it. If they did, that we would stay in there uh, and, and not flinch, take their best shot, and battle back and have an opportunity to make plays in the fourth quarter to win the game. Uh, I was proud of the fact that we were in position to do that and very frustrated that we did not do that. I think um, our players uh, showed a lot of character. They showed a lot of toughness. Um, and uh, they're they're doing things the right day. They're doing things the right way. I thought they responded after the uh, disappointment throughout the week in our preparation, and they responded and came back and played uh, played with great effort and passion. Um, we all can do things better as a coaching staff and uh, as players that, that we're all in this together, and we all need to do what we need to do to make plays at the end of this game to to win. Um, even down to the last third down, uh, you know, we I thought we had somebody in position and just didn't quite make the play. Um, but uh, but overall, again, uh, did some good things. It was good to see the offense uh, find the rhythm, move the ball, get the ball in the end zone, and uh, I was proud of that. I felt like if we could have got a, another stop there defensively, that we, we would have given ourselves a chance to to score and, and to win the game. So uh, with that, I'll open up the questions. Mark, did they manage to change the culture in, in Lexington? Is this, do you consider tonight a success in that regard, or is it still too much? I mean, you look at the scoreboard. Well, you know, not until, you know, we, we are changing. We are, we in that locker room are changing the culture. And uh, I believe that. And uh, sometimes I tell you guys that. And, uh, you know, I know everybody probably says this guy's nuts or, you know, it, you know, he keeps on telling me there's good practices, good things going on, uh, and, and I believe that. I believe that uh, we're not, uh, we need to do things better as a whole organization. Uh, starting with myself in the coaching and all the players, we know we can do better, but I, I believe the, the culture is changing, and uh, I thought the, that was evident tonight. Did those guys surprise you, even after the way you, you talked earlier in the week and then the way they came out? You know, and fell behind early. Did you kind of feel like, well, exactly what I thought? I mean, did they, and then what they did, what they did after surprise you? Well, we, uh, you know, it, it didn't surprise me. I thought we, you know, I know we have good character. I know we have some guys that are caring and that, that care and that are trying. Uh, we're again, we know we're not perfect in our preparation and, and how we play, but uh, um, it didn't surprise me that, that South Carolina started fast. I wish we could have done some things different. And, and play it better early, but uh, they can do that to you. And um, so uh, I was proud of the fact that I'm sorry, Kyle, I lost yeah. even the question. <laughs> <laughs> so, do, yeah. do you yeah. think? Do you think tonight you reap the benefits of sticking with one quarterback? Because it seemed like as that game wore do, on, Jalen finally. It took a while, but yeah. finally clicked for him. I, I do. I do think. Uh, I was glad to see that. You know, because I, I got to admit, I was thinking about some things in the middle of the game. I said, no, let's go with it and we'll see where we're at. And, uh, and um, you know, we got the, we got the, we drove it down and cut it to 13 and then we got the turnover and, you know, that was exciting. Uh, you know, we, we need to do some things better and, and uh, you know, coach better in, in those situations at the end there too. Did your guys, now that it's over, how much motivational tactic and how much just raw Boiling over it, how mad you were at practice Wednesday was that? Pardon me. That's what you said to us on Wednesday. Yeah. How much of that was, if any, was motivational tactic, and how much of it was just pure no, pissed off? No, that's yeah, that's it's, you know, that's who I am, and uh, I always try to take a deep breath and calm down before I come in here and talk with you guys. And, and uh, Wednesday was a struggle because I didn't have much time, and Tony didn't have an opportunity to talk to me because I was a little bit upset and. Uh, uh, I really just try to tell it like it is and, and be truthful. I want to be honest and, and uh, you know, our players understand where I'm coming from all the time. How you mentioned that, that last third down, it did look like you had him. Did you think you had him stopped there initially? I, I, I 
thought we had an opportunity to stop him. Was it? Was it? You know. I mean, again, I get you know so worked up there, but uh, we. I was telling some of our guys to 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 go. You know, we had a good feel that they were going to run the zone again and, and give an opportunity to give it to the running back or keep it. And so I was telling the guys just to blitz and go and man up the outside guys. And uh, thought we had an opportunity to stop them. I didn't understand. Uh, maybe you guys can tell me. Was there twelve guys on the field, or was there eleven? I mean, they said I, on said on TV that they counted eleven. I, I couldn't understand. I, I didn't understand the call. I thought it was on them. The, the guy on our sideline thought it was on them. I said we didn't substitute anybody. We didn't take anybody out after that. So I don't. I don't. I don't understand. How they cool. said there was twelve guys. I said, well, we played with the same guys that were out there. So evidently, we played the last three plays, four plays with twelve. How close was Jalen tonight to the guy you envisioned when he won the job in camp? Pardon me? How close was Jalen tonight to the guy you kind of envisioned when he won the job yeah, in camp? Yeah, that's, that's what we thought. You know, we understand it's not perfect. He missed a few throws here and there, but you saw some good runs, you know, and uh, with that dimension, it does add some things, and uh, that was good to see. Now you start putting some real stress on a defense when you could do our normal uh, offense, you know, and, and try to pick up the tempo. and. And with the way we try to stretch the field you know, with, with our passing game and the, all the different options that Neil can do with a guy that can run the ball, uh, you know, it, it could be a good threat. I mean, we know we need to get better in a lot of areas, but uh, it was good to see that. And, uh, we have seen that before, yes. Mark, how do, you, how do you balance the fact that you were happy that they did fight back? But like you said, they could have made a couple plays yeah. at the end and you could have won this thing. Yeah, it, it is It is frustrating, but uh, we have to uh, – it, it is. It is good. I mean, it, we, we got to prepare. We've got to go fight. We've got to play. It's it's a tough schedule. You know, uh, these guys think it's easy coming in here and, and playing this team on the road, and, uh, and and then next week think that's easy. You know, but it is what it is. And I like the way that embrace that challenge of preparing and playing. And if we do that to the best of our abilities, sure, it frustrates me because I feel like that's our job as a coaching staff to put them in a position to win and to get more out of them. And so uh, I've told you that over and over, and I've told them that if we give it everything we got, prepare the right, right way, fight, I can live with the results because I know we're getting better. You, you, 